uh, Matt Parker Tutorial Services here again, trying to help students for the third time with their coursework, trying to help teachers with their admin, and trying to help those small businesses get off the ground without being ripped off by big companies. Now today I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Access 2013 to make a query for an invoice. Now don't tell me lots of different ways of doing this, because I know! I'm showing you one way to do it with my loud voice because my crappy microphone held up by plastic cups just won't have it and it just won't work. So, we have got a four table system that allows us to buy multiple products in one order. I'm going to show you how to make a few queries that build up to make an invoice query. We're going to start with a query to work out the line total. If I go into design view on this one, you will see that I've simply dragged off the order ID and then I've picked the wrong query. Oh my god, but the show must go on. I should have picked, okay, query line total, which was this one. If I go into design view, you'll notice, having hit this, oh, we're playing musical chairs today. <laughs> I've got giggles too. Steve's got the giggles. It's going so well. Anyway, I'll just move a little bit, and you can see the full formula. First thing you do, you drag off the order from the order table, sorry, the TBL order product table, okay, you drag off the product ID from the same table. Don't use the primary key at this point because you want what's from this table. You drag off the product name from the table, the quantity from the order product table, and the price from the product table. Then you type in here in a fresh field, line total with a colon, you Open up a square bracket, type in price, close the square, square bracket, use the asterisk for multiplying, and then in square brackets type in the quantity. Now if you want it to refer to that directly, okay, because you have a lot of things going on there, in square brackets you put the name of the table, the query, an apostrophe, and then the name of the field. Exclamation mark. Oh, exclamation mark. You Cameron, speak up a little bit when you're putting these things in. Right, so that's how to do the first query. Don't forget to give it a sensible name, such as QRY, line total, and when you're showing it to other people, to open up the right one, right? Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to do some of that query. Now, to do that, you add the query, okay, very simply. When you add a table, okay, you go to show table, you click on the queries tab, and you add the query for the line total. Then you click on the summing button there, and then drag off the order ID, and then where it says group by, drop down the arrow and make sure you select sum. You all got that? Okay, nodding your heads, because they don't want to test the microphone. Now, the next thing you do is you build your query for the invoice. You pop that into this, and there's a lot going on there. Okay, so let's just go through it. The first thing you do is you drag off the core tables for the whole system. You then, what have I got my system? I only asked Jonathan because he was on his phone. If I run this query, okay, it will indeed... Oh, you're missing the square brackets. Oh, what oh you good man! It's called a parameter query, Jonathan, and your voice has picked up. Yes, you're right, and I get that off the order table. And in square brackets, I should say enter order ID. Now remember, whatever you put inside the square bracket will appear as a message to the end user. Okay. okay. You, th you then drag off this information about the person. Obviously, we'll put their address in there as well. Oops, I already had order ID in there already. Don't matter, I'll take that one out because we don't need it. Okay, we put in the order date. Now, from the, um, we drag off the product from this table here, okay? We don't drag it off this one, we drag it off this one. And we drag off all this information about the price, the quantity, etc. Now, the next thing, thanks Joss, just for lowering your chair at that vital point where it got picked up off the microphone. Well done. Now, the next thing you do, okay, is you add your queries, you drag off the field for the line to you drag off the query for the summer line total, and when you run it, indeed it will prompt you, and it will display everything for order one. Now, why multiple lines? Because 
that person bought multiple products and you'll notice that the sum of the line total is always the same and that shows it working and that's it I'm going to click on X okay, to stop the recording remember our tutorial services there to bore students at the end of a the lesson there to help teachers with the admin help IT businesses get off the ground